thick film resistors they are used most widely in the discrete components in from 1970 in the thick film resistors we use a thick film in the thin film resistors we are using a 0 0.1 micrometer film but in thick film resistors we use a very thick film which is greater than 0 0.1 micrometer and we deposit this thick film on a insulator that is ceramic insulator example then that type of the film resistor is called as a thick film resistor in the modern days the thick film resistors are mostly used in surface mounting devices these surface mounting devices uh, they do not there is no need to solder the surface mounting resistors if we simply apply a adhesive that is sufficient that we will learn in the third chapter different types of thick film resistors one is a fusible thick film resistor this fusible thick film resistor they both acts like a resistor resistor and fuse this fusible thick film resistor has two properties it is acting like a fuse it is protecting the circuit from the over current and it is also exhibiting resistance that resistance value is very less 10 ohms normally we observe these fusible thick film resistors in tv sets in amplifiers the loudspeaker uh, whenever we go for the public address system in the amplifiers also we use these thick film resistors fusible thick film resistors they are acting like a fuse and also they are exhibiting a resistance of 10 ohms uh, in generally the resistance will be very small in the range of the 10 ohms Cer cermet this is a combination of ceramic and metal ceramic actually the advantage when we use the ceramic is at high temperatures whenever we want to use the high temperature resistances and when we want to use high wear resistances we go for the ceramic material ceramic is an insulator there is no doubt uh, we are combining this ceramic with metal this metal has the property flexible if you take a copper foil it is flexible aluminium flexible gold silver metal has a flexible property and easily conducts so this resistor ceramic is an insulator metal is a conductor we are adding the properties of these two materials advantages of these two materials and this type of thick film resistor is called as a cermet and the last type is metal oxide we take a tin chloride and we deposit this tin chloride on a glass substrate we heat the glass and we take a tin chloride and we deposit on the glass because of that tin oxide is formed to this tin oxide we add the antimony oxide the amount of antimony oxide we add to this tin oxide thus that dip, that decides the resistance value so the resistance value is decided by the antimony oxide where we use these thick film resistors metal oxide we use at high temperatures similar to the cermet at high voltages whenever we require a very less operating noise like in military applications they want the devices with less operating noise there also we can use these metal oxide resistors thick film resistors what are the different types of thick film resistors smd fusible cermet metal oxide